Grooming the young ones for future optimal productivity is the focal point of this year's STEM and GAN mentoring and career fair designed for young engineers and organized by Association of Professional Women Engineers of Nigeria, APUIN. An event held at the Digital Bridge Institute, Oshodi, with the support of Wally. In her opening address, engineer Elizabeth Eterigo, president of Appoint, re emphasized the importance of town and gown with this year's team, industry focused capacity building. It is an industrial focused capacity building meant to bridge the gap between the young engineers and the industry, particularly the female engineering graduates and undergraduate female students in engineering. The president of the Apex Engineering Body in Nigeria, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Engineer Tasri Wudil, who joined virtually in his opening remarks, assures continuous support to the women group and advised the young ones to try and pay full attention to details of the mentorship program. Ladies are uh, coming up. So you guys, you are, you are taking over and I assure you, we will give you all the support. Ladies should listen and take home uh, whatever they hear and I'm sure you will hear so much to help you in your careers. Thank you. The keynote speaker, Azibaula Robert, the MD CEO Zetin Engineering, encouraged the attendees to follow their passion in anything they choose to do. While engineer Tundia Leshi, the DMD Delta Africa, emphasized on the relevance of engineering in our world today and assures the participants of getting value from the event. We should be able to now start the way of diverging ourselves from that and doing inventions, inventions that every other person is doing. Once you are able to think out a solution, please divert it from spirituality and bring it into reality in a way that don't blame anybody once you start something. But when you start, always make sure that you pursue it to the end. I always say that it is better to start something and fail than don't start at all. So don't forget it, you are relevant in this season. You're relevant. As, as this workshop, make sure you learn, relearn, and most importantly, on them. On them. I believe that this conference again will have value to you. Engineer Oluda Malaolubugi from Chevron, Nigeria, in her own submission, highlighted what young female engineers need to be a driving force in the oil and gas industry. Not just the oil and gas industry, but really anything you put your hands to that you want to be successful, you need to be ready to go and hard. There will be trade-offs, but there will also be successes and rewards. The event was a gathering of professionals from the oil and gas, entrepreneurship, academia, and other multinationals with representatives both physically and virtually taking turns to mentor the young engineers on career choices and paths. We start with market-oriented research, market-oriented program, ensure that whatever you are doing, you are able to, you know, it's something that you can sell or that can, you can market, that it's what the environment needs. You should, and at the same time, have a strong faith in your area, in your capabilities, and your personal self. You must believe beyond the shadow of doubt that you have the ability to recognize and fulfill whatever goals you have set out for yourself. So it is an exciting time for us. It is an exciting time for the young female engineers. It is an exciting time for sub saharan Africa because Nigeria has an opportunity to leverage on this and create jobs. Mm -hmm.